Use the graph shown to find the following. Domain and range, intercepts, horizontal asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, oblique asymptotes. So let's start with the domain and range. What I like to do is to take my ruler and hold it vertically to find the domain. Now the reason I do this is because the domain is a set of x values for this function. And when I hold my ruler vertically, I'm pointing towards the x-axis. So you can see, I'll kind of mark here, that my ruler is running across that x-axis as I go from left to right. So I start, start on the left because that's the smallest. And what I want to pay attention to is when my ruler is hitting the graph. Now this line right here, we're supposed to assume that it's going on forever. So my ruler is actually starting to hit the graph on negative infinity. So the domain starts at negative infinity. And I'm continuing to hit the graph all the way up until I get to this vertical dashed line here. This piece of the graph over here continues on getting closer and closer to that vertical dashed line. And that vertical dashed line is our vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote is an undefined place for the graph. So I have a gap in my domain there. And that's occurring at 2. But if I notice on the other side of that vertical line, I have another piece of the graph down here where right when I cross over, my ruler will start touching that line immediately. So my domain picks up right after that asymptote and will continue on to infinity. We can do the same thing by holding our ruler horizontally, and now my ruler is pointing towards the y values, which is the range. We're going to start from bottom to top, that's smallest to largest, so our range starts at negative infinity. It's going to continue. You can see on the right that it's getting closer and closer to that horizontal dashed line, and that horizontal dashed line is our horizontal asymptote. Based on this picture, we're going to take a break at that asymptote. So our y value is negative 3 there. And then immediately after that asymptote, you can see on the left here, the line is picking up again and goes to infinity. So our range is from negative infinity to negative 3 and negative 3 to infinity. Then we're asked to find intercepts. We have two types of intercepts, x-intercepts and y-intercepts. So an x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. So this line right here is the x-axis. And the graph is crossing the x-axis at this point right here, which is the origin. So we have an x-intercept at 0. And then we also have y-intercepts, and a y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. The y-axis is this vertical axis here, and the graph is crossing that vertical axis in the same spot at the origin. So we have a y-intercept also at 0. Then we're asked to find any horizontal asymptotes. So we already mentioned that this line right here is a marking out the horizontal asymptote. Um, but I don't want you to just rely on that dashed line being there. Let's really talk about what a horizontal asymptote is. Um, a horizontal asymptote happens when your x is approaching infinity or negative infinity and your y is approaching a specific number. So I can see on this piece of the graph, my x 
is going towards infinity and my y is getting closer and closer and closer to this dashed line and it's never going to reach it. And so my y is approaching negative 3. Over here on the other end of the graph, my x is approaching negative infinity and my y is approaching that dashed line again, which is at negative 3. And so that's a definition of what a horizontal asymptote is. So when x is approaching infinity or negative infinity and your y is approaching a specific number, in our case negative 3, you have a horizontal asymptote at that value, y equals negative 3. Not at that value, but along that line, y equals 3, negative 3. So then I already mentioned earlier that we have a vertical asymptote that's happening right here. And I don't want you to rely on that dashed line. I want you to really understand what that definition means. So a vertical asymptote happens when your x, when your x is approaching some number and your y goes to infinity or negative infinity. So for this example, I'm looking at this piece of the graph right here and my x is approaching the value of 2 from below 2 and my y is approaching infinity. And so that's following the definition of what a vertical asymptote is. If we also look on this piece of the graph, we can see that my x is approaching 2, this time from above, and the y is approaching negative infinity. So this is also following the definition of a vertical asymptote. So when that happens, we say that there is a vertical asymptote, and it occurs along the line x equals 2. And I got 2 from using that value that x is approaching here. And then finally, uh, it's asking for oblique asymptotes. And for this example, we don't have any oblique asymptotes. An oblique asymptote would be if you had um, like a, a slanted line and your graph would be approaching that line at infinity or negative infinity. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.